could go one of two ways. We could have quite a close cooperation, still maintain access to the single market, a sort of Norway, Switzerland type issue uh, arrangement. But it could be that, that Europe says, right, OK, we don't particularly want those deals and we do actually a WTO deal, go back to those type of deals. Um, I can't really tell you at this moment exactly what will happen. I, Though I was a Remainer, I wouldn't go cap in hand to Europe. If Europe is difficult, I think we should go our own way. Germany wants to sell us cars, the French will sell us wine, um, the European, uh, Central and Eastern Europeans will want to send their labour, so I think, and we will need that labour, so there is a deal to be done, I just hope that Europe can do one with us without feeling they've got to be so careful that they don't get other people wanting to leave the European Union, if they give us too good a deal, you see, others will probably choose the same path. Some things are already very clear. David Davis has made clear that uh, we're going to take back control of our borders, our laws, uh, and that uh, and our money and Parliament's sovereignty is going to be put beyond doubt. And from that, actually a number of things flow by implication. It means we're not going to be subject to the European Court of Justice in any way. We're not going to be subject to European Union regulation. We're not going to be in the EEA. We're not going to be in the customs union. We're not going to be in the single market. These are logical outcomes from those premises. I think that um, probably in the spring is about the right time to trigger um, Article 50. Uh, parliamentary debate, I think we can have one. Whether it should be binding or not is another matter. I think we should debate it, but I think the referendum has been had and so therefore people have made that decision and so therefore I feel the government and the country we are bound to go the Brexit route. But I think the politicians of all sides would probably like to have their say, but I think have their say, but not making a binding vote as to whether we, we, we went for Article 50 or not. I think we should debate the fact that we are invoking Article 50, but not, it's not a, a vote that could be, uh, not a, an article that could be stopped. Whether there should or shouldn't is entirely a political matter. Uh, it's not a legal question. Uh, treaties are made and unmade by prerogative power. Uh, the fact that this treaty may make or unmake private rights and private obligations on, uh, on citizens in this country is um, actually incidental. In any case, it's the Repeal Act that requires the consent of Parliament. Uh, and it's the Repeal Act that will actually change the nature of obligations in the future. And in any case, I hope the Repeal Act will also include a carryover provision so we effectively nationalise the ACU community, so people will notice very little change at the moment we leave the European Union. Well, it is access to the market in a way either through a single market process or through a trade arrangement which is beneficial both to ourselves and to Europe. Also maintaining a controlled um, control workforce coming in from Central and Eastern Europe, Europe because I in my own constituency have quite a number of factories in particular and establishments which need Central and Eastern European labour. So there is a deal to be had, let's hope we, that Europe will be sensible and we can get that deal. Well in that first category of principles set out by uh, D David Davis in his statement the day we got back, you know, money, borders, laws, and the sovereignty of Parliament, there's nothing to negotiate. Um, there, and we need to make a division in our minds. What is now constitutionally part of the sovereign responsibility of the British government and the British Parliament uh, is a separate question from what agreements might be made on a bilateral basis uh, in the future. And um, I'm quite relaxed about that um, because whatever is agreed by the government isn't binding for all time. It can be changed in the future, which is the big change uh, from, le from leaving the European Union because when we were in the European Union, we'd agree something and it would be agreed for all time unless we left the European Union. Mm -hmm.